What's up, guys, man? Slide, D, Flow. Fuck, man. Lost the game. A lot to say, man, but just disgusting way, man. After that first drive with Purdy getting hurt, man. It seems like every damn year something happens. Oh, man. We should. Uh, I don't even want to go, man. Who wants to go? Just go, man. Go. Go for who wants it. I know you're going to blame uh, Shanahan. Like, <laughs> this guy is always hating Shanahan. And he nah, I just felt like it was just going to be karma. Um, believe it or not, because I know you guys were talking like earlier when you guys thought like, oh, shit, like when the bad juju was coming. I knew it was coming when I saw the the 49er fans, like when they were putting the jersey on the Rocky statue, when I saw uh, Paul Heyman on WWE going, Brock, Purdy. Mm -hmm. And everybody was just hyping up Purdy. Everyone was just saying like, even Grant Cohn, if he was like, it pretty wins it all. He'll be the greatest quarterback ever, like ever lived. And it's like, dude, just like everyone's just like just hyping up the team too much, you know? Like there comes a point like where you want to like have like good momentum, but then when you're just like over hyping it, like when you're kind of just like we were pretty much acting like the Cowboys is what I felt like. I thought our players, not our players so much, but our fans are really like talking shit. And I just knew like when the game started, when Shanahan didn't call that. Uh, the drop catch by Devontae Smith. Challenge. I thought that uh, the challenge, um, I thought that could have been a whole momentum swing. But you saw the Eagles, they were like, hurry up, let's go, let's go, let's yeah. take hike. And that, like, really just um, that turn because that ended up being a touchdown right afterwards. And that was just like a huge momentum swing. And I said it um, previous to. We were very fortunate because we haven't really had uh, really like an away game because our fans have traveled. Even when we we're in Mexico, it was all our fans. LA is never going to be an away team. So like it's always going to be who the opponents are. Um, so we really haven't faced like I think what like maybe Chicago, Chicago or Denver, but they're not even elite teams. Mm -hmm. um, so we really hadn't faced a team with, that was actually the Eagles are one of the best teams in the NFL, so I was like really nervous about it. Like, man, those fans are hardcore. And I knew if we were going to be down early, that it was going to be a fight just to get back up. But, man, we didn't even have a fight with. Um I, I can't go on to blame Shanahan, um, but again, like with Purdy not even like being healthy, um, and even our backup uh, with the drive opening drive uh, of halftime getting a concussion, it was just like man. The only person that really stood out was Richard, uh, Christian McCaffrey, but yeah. even then, he can't win the game by himself, and. Man, it just it's heartbreaking just to lose like this because a lot of people want to say like oh like it's like maybe we're still the better team what if what if but it's like we don't have a time machine we can't go back and change the events and it just it's a hard pill to swallow. Um, yeah, our team's very good, but it just sucks to lose like this because we didn't even have a chance to fight. Um, actually, I'm gonna blame Kyle Shanahan the last couple of weeks because obviously we've been on a tear, man. Our offense has looked elite. Obviously, we didn't expect the Brock Purdy injury, even though I guess this year we should have because all the injuries are already dealt with this year. But as far as like Kyle Shanahan, like D said, he should have thrown that challenge flag, man. You know, you have your guys upstairs letting you know he should have thrown it. Playoff Kyle Shanahan showed up today, man. He didn't do that. Also, getting our quarterbacks hurt, man. I don't know that. Tyler Croft, man. Exactly. Why, is, why in the why hell is he, is he on the team? Why is why he on the he, why, team? Why is he blocking? Oh, for and it, that man. cost us Brock Purdy today. Obviously, early in the season, he crosses Jimmy and Trey Lance with those designed runs, or I don't even know what the hell they're called. But anyways, so that's the third quarterback. And then I know we don't expect to go to a fourth quarterback, but this is something I just asked Sly. Josh, Josh Johnson, really a 15-year journeyman. That's our fourth quarterback, especially in this offseason when we paid a quarterback, what was it, $7 million as a Sherfield? No, $2 million, $1 million guaranteed. Yeah. Sudfield. Sudfield. And he looked good in the freaking uh, the training camps. Training camps. Yeah. So if we would have had him, I'm not saying we would have won, but I would have rather had that guy out there on the field than freaking 15-year-old Josh Johnson journeyman who, when he was even elite in, well, elite in his prime, he was still pretty horrible. I know, I can't blame him today. He probably wasn't even expecting to play. But that's on Kyle Shanahan, man. That's that's on him for sure. And that was only going to get rougher for us because now we're going to have Trey Lance back next year and Brock Purdy. How are they going to decide on that? Because obviously Brock Purdy, he was on a tear. But Trey Lance, we, we, we all that draft capital. Plus, we know freaking Jeb is in love with Jimmy G. I wouldn't even be surprised <laughs> if he brings Jimmy G back for a 30. We have three quarterbacks next year. Um, and then our defense is going to be a year older. Another thing, actually, on our defense, man, our freaking interior defensive line are sorry as hell, man. We can't just always Fuck. rely on Bosa and mm -hmm. we put on the opposite end of mm -hmm. him. And even those guys didn't really show up today. But our interior defensive line, man, Jalen Hurts freaking picked us apart. He's not even the greatest passing quarterback, 
but we couldn't even get pressure. We couldn't even get no, to him. No. And so he looked like freaking an MVP guy. Obviously, he has receivers, so they're going to make plays for him. Our corners, I felt, kind of held up for yeah, how much time they had. For, yeah. Yeah. for how yeah. they had to like cover for so long. But that interior defensive line, man, they're, they're pretty much sorry. And obviously, Armstead, my boy with Oregon, but... Obviously, we resigned him, and I don't know what for, man. That guy, he can't. He disappears in big games. But Sly, I'll let you go, man. Yeah, man. So much that when we were at training camp, the first thing I thought, man, knowing how Tyler Cross gonna make this team because he's so soft, he's skinny, he was like a twig. We were right next to him. We were on the field. I'm like, man, this guy shouldn't make the team. We had that guy uh, that Tampa Bay picked up who won the Super Bowl with Brett. Brett, who could actually block and this fucker hurt got brock pretty hurt man right there one-on-one -on -one, his ass just got stonewalled by reddick who had a great game his ass did nothing when he was with arizona cardinals all of a sudden this guy's a hall of famer because we can't fucking block man so why in the hell is tyler croft on this damn team that sucks but i'm gonna go defensive ta tackle like you were saying man javon kinlaw man that guy sucks he fucking sucks man he said if i'm gonna be healthy this year call me out man grant cole's not calling him out grant cole ain't calling him out javon kinlaw but i'll say it this guy sucks he was a 13th pick, and I never won. First of all, I never won that trade. We should have kept Buckner. I wanted to keep Buckner. But since then, I was like, all right, Javon Kinlaw, all right. And he, he might make a plays. I was wrong because I said he was going to be good. I kept trying to get, oh, I think this guy's going to be a solid player. And I defended him, defended him, defended him. This guy sucks, man. He has no pressure. Even in the run defense, this guy uh, on two guys getting blown the F up. DJ Jones would have never done that, man. But you see Sanders out there um, having his way, man. DJ Jones would hold his damn ground. Javon Kinlaw, he sucks he sucks cock man so he pissed me off defensive tackle like I said interior line all year long can't get pressure and didn't happen again the only guy that gets pressure ever Nick Bosa then you have Charles Amenu who out there uh, I knew we were going to lose I thought I we might lose on Tuesday or Wednesday when that domestic violence shit came up uh, and that just ruins everything that changes the locker room and they're like oh he's going to play Kyle Shanahan on th Wednesday I'm like fuck man this reminds me of those hardball years when Alden Smith got those DOIs and then he played and then we lost the next week fight to the Giants mm -hmm. or whatever it was just deja vu this whole week and I was like damn it and also another guy, man, Dre Greenlaw, such a great player, yeah. such a dumbass, man. Last week, personal foul got fined. He's done it all year long where he gets all these 15-yard penalties, and he did it again, man. The game, like the first game of the season against Chicago Bears, we should have won that game, which we would have had home field advantage, but this asshole had to get that 15-yard penalty, which changed the game because they drove down the field, Justin Fields, and they won that damn game because of that drive, and fuck, we should have had home field advantage, and just couldn't happen, man. The Eagles, this was a true road game, and the crowd was crazy, and we got a lot of, some BS calls, but I'm not blaming the rest, but damn, man, so many dumb mistakes out there. Too many damn penalties, and oh, man, we should be going to the Super Bowl, but I guess we're not now, man, so I don't know. I I think we could have had a chance if Brock Purdy didn't get hurt, uh, but when you have Josh Johnson in there, man, you know it's over. You know it's freaking over, because that guy sucks. We've been saying it for the past 15 years. This guy was with us with Jim Harbaugh like years ago, and we're like, damn, this guy freaking sucks, man. Like, he sucks. And when he yeah. came in, I... Uh, when he got hurt, man, and they were like Christian McCaffrey quarterback, I was like, I was happy. I was like, I would rather have Christian McCaffrey quarterback than Josh Johnson because we know what Josh Johnson is. So that's a uh, discredit to John Lynch for picking this asshole up, man. Um, he could go kick rocks as far as I'm concerned because, man. He's probably got a job just because of hardball. Because yeah. I'm like wondering because uh, how is this guy quarterback? He doesn't even have, I think, more than like three starts, if I'm not like mistaken, because he jumps from team to team to team. And I'm assuming just because of hardball hyped him up, like, and he was uh, decent, like, College player I'm uh, assuming that's only reason why he has a job in the NFL right now but man when you're saying hike and he can't even catch the ball that just changed like the whole momentum because then we're down by three scores and it's just like it's over from there and the worst yeah. part about that play when he dropped the ball okay you dropped it get the ball back don't be a fucking pussy he did exactly what Cam Newton did in the mm -hmm. Super Bowl when the ball was right there you grabbed that ball he, he made a business decision there so he could kick rocks he shouldn't be in the NFL no more you made millions of dollars for doing shit congratulations man so I guess you gotta give a little credit for that so yeah i don't know man but absolutely i don't know man just too many damn penalties you know we were that special teams play with jason jordan mason man we're we stopped oh, him that, yeah. so it was like four 21 points where it would have been our ball again but stupid ass penalties on and they get the ball back and it'll be touched down the first drive should have been stopped from that uh which kyle shanahan should have challenged it would have been our ball uh jordan mason that's another seven points right there um another one charvarius ward got that one penalty would have been fourth down so it just seemed like it just killed us we just weren't thinking and then you know at the end of the game man trent williams he just wanted to fight and then also ward or jimmy ward too oh 
Ward, Ward. Jimmy Ward, yeah, Jimmy Ward, yeah, another yeah, one. Yeah. So it just kept happening over and, and over, that, that, over, and then down. and it would have been four down again. Then freaking mm -hmm. um, Dre Greenlaw fuck, thinks it's fucking boxing. He thinks he's uh, Rocky and Balboa. One thing that pissed me off about that it was a little guy too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like bro, at least yeah. I guess like hit someone your own size, you know. Yeah, so. And it's like, oh my goodness, man. <laughs> so there's a lot of questions going on to the off season, but I thought our Achilles' heels on defense was the interior line defense because we had no damn pressure and um like i said we need to do something because javon keller with no way in how we're going to give him that fifth year option because he hasn't proven that he sucks man and we know no one's going to call him out grant cohen and call him out because um he's fucking gonna get knocked his ass out by him so he's no one's going to talk shit about javon killer fucking i'll do it he sucked and drake greenlaw's got to be smarter because he he cost us that chance at having the game in San, santa clara um but all year long he's been doing that shit and um I don't know, man. Just, <laughs> I don't know, man. And I don't even know what the hell is going to happen next year. Uh, people are talking already about Tom Brady coming back. Does Pro Purdy, does he deserve a chance to come back next year as a starter? Like, there's a lot of questions going to yeah, be out a there. A lot of questions yeah. that we don't know right now. But honestly, I really wish that we had a chance. At least if Brock Purdy didn't get hurt, if fucking Tyler Croft wasn't there protecting with skinny ass motherfucker, I was right next to him. I'm bigger than that fool. Just actually getting destroyed by Reddick pretty much cost us the season. Oh man, I thought it would have been a badass game. I honestly thought we had a chance. We were the, honestly, I thought we were the better chance. I thought we were gonna win this damn game, but um, shit happens. And Fox, man, another damn year, another damn year yeah, waiting. Yeah, pretty much just comes down to that play, and you fuck. Yeah, because uh, our offense sucked after yeah, that. We yeah, couldn't get nothing exactly. going. It was like over. It was like three and out. Defense back on the field. Defense and their defense was just getting pissed off. So yeah. stupid ass penalties. And we were kind of holding them a little bit, but man, in the back of their head, they're probably like, "Fuck, we're not gonna score no points," you know. So it sucks, man. I just. Damn, what a horrible... Man, we're cursed, man. We're fucking cursed. Every damn year this happens. And I don't know I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. I'm shocked. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing. Quick, I'm going to go off on one more guy, man. Two guys, actually. Daniel fucking Brusk. Oh, no, not Brusk. I'm sorry. Our center. I'm trying... I'm, who's our center? I'm drawing a blink right now. Our center. No. Oh, who's, who the hell is a freaking center, man? He freaking... Jake Brendel, man. Oh, yeah. We had a play... Um, Brock Purdy does a little screen. We're down 21-7. Jake Brennell's right there. It's set up perfectly to get like a 30, 40 yard run. This asshole just goes right by him and they tackle us. It was oh, like 30-10, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. It was him and, and McCaffrey. And yeah, yeah, yeah McCaffrey yeah, yeah, was yeah. right there and yeah. Burford, right, both of them were right and there. These, 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 like saying that, like, why do you move out of the way? These <laughs> dumbass moves out of the way like the Red Sea and they tackle. That would have been like a 20 yard game. We would have been at the 50 yard line. Man, Tim Ryan out there came to One guy I don't have to worry about is Jake Brennell because Jake Brennell's a so This guy's been a journeyman all fucking the, all his whole career. He's been from team to team. Chiefs cut his ass. Miami cut his his ass green bay cut his ass they all cut his ass why because he sucks we got to upgrade that center position and a guard if burford can't do it get someone else that can because we need to step this shit up man our running game was average i think we're the 15th best running team in the league mm -hmm. and that sucks because jake brendel sucks and burford's got to step it up and brunskill's an average uh guard so i don't know man a lot of questions this year but uh what else you guys got man i'm heated oh, mm -hmm. that's it for me man Anything nah, else? that was just pretty much it. Just, uh, dude, it just sucks because with the Eagles, I feel like they didn't even do anything amazing. Like, mm -hmm. they didn't have no, like, really, like, big plays. Their receivers didn't really go off. They just pretty much ran the ball. And the reason they, like, were scored is because we let them on the field so many freaking times. And so when you get more opportunities, there's going to be more chances to score. And so just for that, it's just, like, it's heartbreak to just lose like that. And just going off from here, it's like, man, there's, like, there's a lot that we need to fix. And... Even like next year, like we're gonna see like how the teams line up. I know you guys like brought up like uh, where is Brady gonna go, but even then, like with like our division, um, we're, we're gonna see like what's gonna happen with uh, the Rams, how the Cardinals are gonna be, the Seahawks. So, man, it just uh, it just sucks to like, go out like this. Yeah, absolutely, man. I honestly wish that. It's just weird because those other games have been close in the NFC Championship game is brutal, but this was brutal too, man, because yeah. we didn't even have a chance. Yeah. Like we had, wow. yeah, we had one freaking hand. You know, it was like when Arturo Gotti boxed and he had only one hand. He was boxing against I forgot who the hell it was. One of his early fights. That kind of how it felt like. Like, dude, we have no chance because we have another quarterback who just sucks. And um, John Lynch, man, you got to get some blame too because you don't go on. You don't bring Josh Johnson. No matter what you do, you do not bring in Josh Johnson because that guy's. A Scrub right there. Especially yeah. like we said, we guaranteed the other guy money in the offseason. Yeah, you might as well just kept him. Might as well just kept him, you know, and have him a third, fourth string because next year we're probably going to need to start six quarterbacks. We're going to have six quarterbacks. They're all going to get hurt like that. So I think we're up to our fifth quarterback, our, which was Purdy again, and he all he could do was hand the ball off. So, and, and, and uh, well, one last thing, man, even though I know it's kind of gimmicky, man, the freaking the off 
offensive genius Kyle Shanahan when he go into the Wildcat with Debo and freaking McCaffrey at the end instead of giving the ball in Josh Johnson's hand, man. Yeah. We weren't going to win that way. I yeah. should have at least tried something, you know? But I yeah. felt he kind of just gave up on that. Like, yeah. he's, he's an offensive genius and he didn't design anything. Yeah, for I, I said it like um, last, and I've been saying it like the last six months. If we're going to win, it's going to be because of players. I just think like when it's big moments, he just doesn't deliver. And especially next year, it's even going to be harder because we don't know what's going to happen with our defensive coordinator uh D'Amico Ryan's right yeah so we don't know if he's gonna like leave us and then so we're gonna be down another coaching staff and so our whole team's gonna change also next year so man it just uh and it's even some more bad news we just heard about an hour ago that Vic Fangio's not gonna be with us he's going with the Miami Dolphins so yeah. we don't know who in that house is gonna be our defensive coordinator but it's gonna be a long ass off season man and Fodge <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know how to take this, what, three NFC Championship games in four years and then only one time we cashed it in and then we still lost. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It sucks, man. It's good that we got here, man, but yeah. at the end of the day, only one team fan base is happy and it's not going to be us. And fuck, man, why is Tyler Croft on this team? <laughs> but that's what we got, man. Sly, D, and Flo. And I'll be making a lot of videos in the offseason. I'm going to be calling out some players left and right, man. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm not going to stop, man. I'm going to do what Grant Cohn should have been doing with some players. I know he got a little afraid because of that. But Call out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll do it. Screw it, man. But that's what we got, man. Talk to you guys next time, man. Peace. Peace.